Hello students, coming to the third video in this series where we are talking about liquid mixtures which show deviation from Raoult's law. In this lesson we are going to talk about the maximum boiling azeotropes or those liquid mixtures which show negative deviation from Raoult's law. What is Raoult's law? Revising it once. The vapor pressure of a component in a solution is equals to the product of its mole fraction in the solution multiplied by the vapor pressure of that substance in pure state. Here, when will a substance show negative deviation from Raoult's law? Negative deviation or maximum boiling or minimum in the vapor pressure curve. For to explain this, we will take the example of HCl and water. Hydrogen chloride molecule shows covalent bonding. Same is there for water molecules. Water molecules have covalent bonding. But at the same time, water molecules are also strongly attracted to each other by means of hydrogen bonding. HCl molecules on the other hand hold each other because of polar covalent nature. Now the extent of uh, attraction between two HCl molecules is not so much as between two water molecules. We mix the two HCl and water. Now HCl molecule develops strong hydrogen bonding with the water molecule. In other words, now the distance between two, any two molecules actually decreases because HCl comes, HCl molecules come closer to each other because of hydrogen bonding with the water molecule. The this results in lowering the volume of this mixture when they are mixed with each other. In other words, supposing we start with 10 ml of HCl, 10 ml of water, when we mix the two, according to an ideal situation, we should get 10 plus 10 that is 20 ml of the solution. But what we observe practically is that the volume of the total volume of the mixture is less than 20 ml over here. Same way, since the molecules are coming closer to each other, the closeness, the forces of attraction between two molecules are increasing, there will be a release of energy or enthalpy in this situation. In other words, the change in enthalpy on mixing is less than zero, meaning to say it is an exothermic reaction. Heat is liberated because molecules are coming closer to each other, the forces of attraction are increasing. You would have practically observed in the laboratory then that when you mix acid and water, the test tube actually becomes a bit warm indicating that there has been release of energy. To say it generally, we will say the forces of attraction between AB molecules are greater than the forces of attraction between AA or BB molecules. In other words, the forces of attraction which develop between HCl and water are higher than those between two HCl molecules. What is the implication of this? This means that the escaping tendency of the molecules now actually decreases. We have the vapor pressure composition curve for an ideal situation drawn over here where we've got constant temperature, vapor pressure denoted on the y-axis, composition in terms of mole fraction denoted on the x-axis. This graph is completely for an ideal situation. What happens when we have a solution which is showing negative deviation from Raoult's law? Our total vapor pressure of the ideal solution will show a dip from its ideal behavior and at a certain composition, 
the vapor pressure of the mixture is actually lower than the vapor pressure of each of the components which are involved over here. So there is a dip in this curve. Same way we will have a dip in the vapor pressure curve of each of the individual components as well. That means on mixing these two solutions the escaping tendency of their molecules becomes less. How does it affect the boiling point? We lower the vapor pressure, higher the boiling point. So we notice that there is a complete reversal in the temperature composition curve for a solution which is showing negative deviation from Raoult's law. We have the liquid represented by the purple ink. We have the composition of the vapor denoted by the purple ink. Let us see how we can separate or let us try and separate such type of liquid mixtures. Here, if we start with a solution having the composition, let us say C1. When we heat such a solution and it reaches its boiling point, we notice that the vapor tends towards the composition C2, where the concentration of A is much higher than that of B. On the other hand, this is for the vapor, whereas the residue is becoming richer in component B. Our vapor is tending towards A, whereas our residue is moving towards a situation where we have a constant boiling mixture whose wherein the boiling point of component A and component B becomes equal. Since there is a peak over here, we call it as maximum boiling azeotropes. If you notice, the boiling point of the mixture at this stage is higher than the boiling point of each of the pure substances A and B. So our distillate is tending towards pure A in this situation whereas our residue is tending towards azeotropic mixed composition. So again, once the residue reaches this composition of azeotrope, you can under no circumstance separate A and B in such a state. Hence, complete separation of such an azeotropic mixture by fractional distillation is not possible. We can see from the other side of the curve as well. Supposing we start with a liquid mixture having, let us say, composition X, wherein the, comp the amount of B is much more than the amount of A. Again, if you heat this, at the boiling point, the temperature becomes constant. You condense. The distillate will become richer in B, but again, the residue will reach a point where it will have the azeotropic composition. Hope this clears the concept of Raoult's law, ideal behavior, non-ideal behavior. For a further write-up on this, please visit the site Learning Chemistry is Fun Google site. Any doubts, please feel free to approach me with your questions.